Imagine you have a brand new car. You have driven it for three years. Now it's time to change the tires. You go to mechanic, change the old tires with new ones, leave the old ones there and drive away happy. Have you ever thought what's going to happen to the old tires? They will be stockpiled in our outdoor environment in huge amounts. They may cause fire, disease, and poisoning environment. Just in Australia, more than 48 million tires reach the end of their lives every year. Recently, a small amount of them have been used in industry. They have been chopped in a small size and they have been used in some applications like road pavement, road barriers, and playground surface for kids. <laughs> but this is not enough. We need better ideas to get rid of all these waste tires in our outdoor environment. That's why in my project, I'm trying to introduce a new product called green concrete. This concrete contains waste tire rubber particles instead of sand. But there's a problem here. Concrete particles do not bond with rubber particles as well as they do with sand. Let me explain how it affects the properties of concrete. One of the most important properties of concrete is its high strength under compression. By replacing sand with rubber particles, it decreases the strength of concrete under compression. Let me tell you why. Rubber particles, like a person without hands, it's physically impossible for this person to go to a group of people and make good physical bonding and attachment with them. To get over this problem, we use some chemical solution like potassium permanganate to treat rubber particles. It's like growing hands for them. Now, they can have better bonding with rubber particles, with concrete particles. We have tested this new product and we've got good results. The strength of concrete containing treated rubber particles under compression is much higher than the concrete containing untreated rubber particles. I think this is a good start to achieve the objective of this research, which is green concrete. Thank you.